Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and this one is my last project for February for Scrap FX. So I'm again playing in the large uh, craft junk journal kit and I'm starting off using a collage sheet called Circles of Colour which is one that I designed for Scrap FX um, and seemed to have had a bit of a theme this month with um, ripping my collage papers in half diagonally. Didn't realise I'd kind of done the same thing. <laughs> so that's what I've done here and I'm going to put half of it in this bottom left hand corner and half in the top right hand corner um, creating that kind of diagonal stripe down the middle where you can see a bit of the craft through there so I'm sticking this in using some matte medium um, this is quite a busy collage paper it's got lots of bright colours on it um, which means once you stick it in you've got that ready made background um, so it's a great starting point um, and that is why once I've got it stuck in place I decided I was going to mask over the top of it to just leave little bits of it showing and it kind of calm it down a little bit as well because although I love it and I love all the bright colours it is very busy and there is a lot going on um, so as a background it's a little bit too much so to mask over it is a really good technique for calming it down so to do that I am using the um, star mask set um, and this has got lots of different sizes of stars in it I think there are five or six in total maybe even more um, of varying sizes so I'm just altering the sizes of the ones that I'm using and then you can see I'm going back in and just um, darkening up the the opacity of the some parts of the white just so that it's um, got a bit of variety in how much coverage it's giving so I already knew that my image was going to go in the center of my page so I'm working these masked stars around the edge of my page and I'm using a carnation to do that so I felt that white was going to be too harsh so I'm going in with one of the pastel colors from Dina's um, paints um, and it's called carnation white would work just as well but um, I wanted that kind of softer tone to it really Okay, so once I've done that, I'm then going in with my favourite stencil from Scrap Effects at the minute, and it's the Graffiti stencil. And I'm using Blackberry, and I am just going in and adding a bit of stenciling in the white areas around the stars. Um, just making it quite busy again, but it does all come together in the end. I just love the fact that you can see a little bit of those kind of idea of letters in some of the white spaces and it pushes those white bits back and pulls the star shapes forward. So this is the Frida Kahlo collage sheet um, and I'm just cutting out one of the images on that. I think it's the I Am My Own Muse one. Um, really lovely. So I'm cutting her out as close as I can. So if you don't like to have um, a cut edge to your collage sheets, you can draw around it with um, a, a water brush and then you can gently ease your image out. Um, so rather than using um, matte medium, I've just used a glue stick to stick her in place. And now I'm going to give her a body. So I am using black gesso for this. It's using black gesso, it kind of works, ties in with her, her hair. Um, and again, just using that black on my page is helping to start to bring some contrast to my page. So this is um, one of the silhouettes. It's called Rosy Posy and the little roses come all joined together. So I'm just really carefully snipping them apart. And then I decided I was going to use them on my page as um, a little extra focal point on the figure. Um, 
I guess Frida Kahlo was known for her flamboyancy and everything with the way she dressed. And um, So I kind of thought, let's just go the whole hog and add some really pretty flowers onto her, the top of her dress around the neckline. So I've cut those out and then I've just got a piece of card and I've got um, some magenta and orchid, grabbed a bit of both on my brush and I'm just sweeping some circle shapes onto the card. And then what I'm going to do is stick those roses onto the top of the circle shapes um, and then they're going to be cut out and they will be um, stuck on. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue. It was very fiddly, but using the fine tip applicator bottle really helped to make that a little bit easier. So once they were all dry, I cut them out really carefully and then I'm just spending a bit of time arranging them where I want them to go. And then I just used a glue stick to stick those in place and then went back in with my little fine tip applicator bottle just for any bits that were not sticking down very well. So then I'm just using the technique of adding some dots on and that just kind of helps to uh, soften the edges and um, just make, make it all feel a bit more part of it. Oh my gosh like it all fits together. Sorry, I'm getting my words all mixed up. <laughs> um, and as you know, I do like adding lots of dots onto my journal pages. So this is a nice way to just kind of soften those roses and make them feel like they belong there and creates a really pretty effect as well. So that was a Signo Uniball I was using to do that. Then I have got a quote from um, the Frida Kahlo uh, quotes, I think. Actually, no, I think it might have been, I'm not sure. Actually, I think this was from the sheet of Frida Kahlo quotes. Um, so not the same one as the collage image. And I'm just um, splitting that quote so it works across my page and kind of helps to fill in the spaces either side of the face in the centre. Then I'm just bringing the white back into the um, those eyes and you can see it kind of brings that face alive, doesn't it, when you add that back in. And then just adding some little highlights onto the face as well. And then I'm going in with my dotty stamp and just adding some dots onto my page too. This is a stamp that I designed for Funky Fossil. Um, I love using it because it's such a quick way to get those uh, signature dots onto my page that I love to use so much. And there she is. There's my finished page with the busy colourful background. Um, using the Frida Kahlo collage sheet as my focal point. So thanks for watching. I hope you found some inspiration and I hope to see you again soon.